our tribe in Africa knows about Sirius A, B, and the smallest constellation, C. Now, Sirius C has never been seen without a telescope, but this tribe knew about this constellation way before telescopes because they live in Africa. They live in isolation where there's hardly any lights, and they can see this from their huts and their houses at night. Um, I believe the constellation Sirius A is a dog, Sirius B is a smaller dog, and Sirius C is like the puppy version of the same thing. They're kind of like the mirror image of the same constellation. That's what I think it is. Um, I haven't looked at Sirius because the Sirius constellation is usually the hunting dog. Okay. Um, and then there's like other dogs that are in like other constellations that root from that constellation. So they're all within a row. Like it's kind of like Sirius, the constellation growing up almost. It's pretty much a mirror of the same constellation. But this tribe knew about it before telescopes, which is amazing. So we have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is inner peace, family, and marriage. We have the Ace of Pentacles with new money and security. We have the Two of Swords with decisions and repressed feelings. We have the Ace of Swords with new focus and coldness. We have the Two of Cups with love and couples. We have the Ten of Pentacles with satisfaction, marriage, and engagement. So let's see what the reading has to say. But you have to think about that for a while. A constellation that you can't see without a telescope in our civilization. But in Africa, a, a ancient, off-the-grid tribe saw it. So it has to be totally dark to see this um, serious sea constellation in the sky because it's so light so far away and it's so um, important to the seasons and everything so it's a whole thing so we have security we have the indecision allowing your life to ramble aimlessly on we have life on the road we have touring backpacking we have dealings or relationship with a younger man or person. We have being an outsider. We have hard work ahead. We have spying on somebody. We have temporary problems. Um, we have visiting an old friend. We have an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. We have fear, worries, um, tense situations. We have rushing into a marriage. We have body pushing towards a common goal, possibly too much speed towards a goal without actually ending being firmly in sight. We have something foolish in all forms, lack of careful thinking, disregard for consequences and circumstances, mania or excess. A happy situation to the problem, joy in dancing, a healing of the soul, victory, so laced in partial fulfillment or compromise. We have the night out. We have searching for a new beginning. We have the moon. Um, we have deceptions in all its form, trickery, deception, bad motivations. Dishonesty, false friends, false tendencies, unknown enemies, and a trap being led to ruin. We have complete lack of, of change, standing still to the point of stagnation, possibly 
uh, to slow down to the partial change or a particular surrounding, a close call or an accident. We have trying once more driving through a situation, um, animalistic or a overwhelming situation. So there's some primal notes in here. Um, so celebration, milestones, old and new, freely give, freely receive. Let your heart be comforted by the company of friends. A victory won at an excessive cost, a moment of power. We have great sadness as the monumental loss of faith. We have speculation of a close friend, we have imprisonment, we have gossip, we have shame, we have timid, and we also have a um, reasonable fear. We have creative friends, art exhibits, uh, childhood friends, follow your hearts. Alright, so with this tribe, they know a lot about certain things that us as Americans didn't know that an isolated tribe of people would know. They know more about probably nature, the different medicines found around their own village and in the wild than most Americans would go in Africa. And a lot about astrology because they live in mostly darkness after the sun falls. So there's a lot of time for speculation and to you know, be curious and discover things yourself also. But yeah, this tribe was taught about the constellations and the stars and all that too. So, uh, they do know about a lot of constellations that you would need to see through a telescope because they're in pitch black. They can see the galaxy, the Milky Way, pieces of different parts of the Milky Way through their own huts and from being outside um, looking at the stars at night so I think it's pretty cool to be in that rural type of area I think I've only been in a rural area when I went to Virginia and we were in the mountains you can look over the mountains and just see like the whole sky it's just like amazing it's like on the horizon and all the way up and there's like a little light all the way around the um, horizon. It's really pretty neat. And then you see all the little stars and the constellations and a comet and like little galaxies all up in there. So it's pretty cool. Uh, something to look at. Planetarium has never been so much fun. All right. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. All right. Take care of yourselves. Take care of everyone. All right. Later.